Which bridge is better, whether a cable stayed bridge or a suspension bridge? But before we look into it, let's understand the two types of bridges. So this is what is a cable stayed bridge. And the second one, as we can see in the figure, is the suspension bridge. The key difference occurs in the length. So for the suspension bridge, the competitive span range could be from 800 to 1200 meters. For a cable state bridge, it could vary from 150 to 1000 meters. As you can see in the case of cable state bridge, there is a tower embedded in the foundation and then you have the cable stays which connect to the deck directly. However, in the case of suspension bridge, there is the towers which are embedded in the foundation but this tower is connected, these towers are connected with the main cable and then there are suspended cables with the connecting the deck. So the load is distributed. Now, let's say when a vehicle runs over the bridge, what would happen? So where the load transmission would take place? In the case of cable estate bridge, the first transmission would occur where? The first transmission would occur at the deck. From the deck, it would go to the cable from the cable to the tower and finally to the foundation. So I can say it would go from deck to cable to tower and finally to the foundation. But this process would be a little different in the case of suspension bridge. When a vehicle is going on a suspension bridge, the impact or the transmission would first take place on the deck. From the deck, it would go to the suspender. Now, what are the suspender? These lines, the blue lines that you can see here. From the suspender, it would go to the main cable, the point which is connecting all these suspenders. So, that's the main cable. From the main cable, it would go to the tower. And from the tower, it would go to the foundation. Another important difference between a cable state bridge and a suspension bridge is that... Uh, the cables in the cable state bridge are mechanically stressed. So these are mechanically stressed or pre-stressed. However, these in the case of suspension bridge are not mechanically stressed. So as you can see, they are suspended. They are not stressed. However, here they are connected directly to the deck. The main cable, the stay cable is connected directly to the deck and therefore it is, it is mechanically stressed or we can say it is pre-stressed. Uh, another important difference is the, the deck span to the depth ratio. So the deck span to the depth ratio vary from 1 is to 40 to 1 is to 200 in the case of a cable state bridge. In the case of the suspension bridge, it is 1 is to 100 to 1 is to 200. So those are some of the major differences that we can see. The length is again a very determining factor how long the bridge would be and in suspension bridge there are major suspension ca cables and the minor suspension cables which move down freely from the main cable and therefore they transfer the load, uh, load to the anchorage on the end and that's one of the major difference that attributes to the suspension bridge and is not seen in the case of cable estate bridge. So definitely uh, engineering designs are required uh, based on certain parameters before we finalize which bridge would be optimum for a given region. Thanks for joining in. Very important topic in GS and similar topics would be covered in the upcoming sessions. Stay tuned.